Hi guys, welcome back. From today we are going to start a new series of the tutorial for ext.js. So this is a first video. So uh, here what we are going to do, we will make a small program that how you can understand that how we can start with it and we understand that uh, a small amount of code. This code will view give a brief about the ext.js that how it ac actually its work and we will learn uh, why we have to use the ext.js and um, in this program I'm not going to use the any uh, kind of SDK or CMD installation because I want to make it a very simple and for that I will going to use the CDN I hope you you know that how we can use the CDN and I will give you the links also in the description box that you can find the uh, CDN also all right so uh, now let's get started with the code this is my the output screen here you can see that and this is coming from here all right so even you can see that i'm not going to use any kind of port and all this is a simple html page all right so for my uh js code so i'm just going to write here one more file which is the app.js and i'm going to write my whole code here and these are the cdns that we have to use and you can find these cdn inside the description box also so, okay so as i'm using them you will see that there is a uh, internal font of the ext.js it will change the uh, font style of this uh, ext.js also all right you can see that we got a little bit smaller it right? all right and nicer also so now let's uh, start with the uh, our code so for that i'm just going to add a script tag and here I'm just going to add the src app.js which is coming the code will uh, written here all right so first of all I'm just going to tell you that why we have to use it in the very quick time so uh, even you can you can think that in the angular in the react there is a very advanced and uh, uh, nice performing library then why we have to use the xtjs the reason is the vast component and the library in the ext.js you will find the uh, UI component like for the date picker, for the modal, for the grid, for the table and for the panel, for the viewport. In Angular and React.js we have to import them from the external npm package or the library. Right? That's why we can use the ext.js. So now let's start with the program. So in the program we are going to use the ext the meaning of ext sorry the meaning of ext is uh, ext is the base class of the old component which is uh, coming from the library which is using from this cdn all right so ext dot on ready okay so just make it back dot on ready on it is the function it will call when the old documents and the cdn will be uh, loaded all right so here we can call a function and in this function this is the callback function we have to use the um, our code that we actually want to make so I can use the ext dot create and the create class will help you to create the component so let's say I want to use the ext dot panel and this is a predefined class we are just using here and this class will help us out to make a small panel and you will see the output here soon okay so uh, in the ext uh, dot create there is a two uh, parameter one is a string this is the name and the second one is an object and in the object we can pass the properties like height width and all so I'm just going to put here height and in the height let's say I just want to take the 100 pixel width and I want to take the 200 pixel all right and title and let's say title I want to pick um, high ext.js all right and uh, here you can put some HTML if you want to put and HTML you can put any string or any kind of HTML like first ext program and uh, soon I will put it here some uh, tags also all right so but when you just run it you are not able to see any output 
because there is a very important thing that we have to forget which is the render to all right and render to always be render with any id or the body all right so let's say i'm just going to put the id like hello ext all right mm. okay so now i'm just going to define this id here like um, just remove it and i can use some div and with the div i can use the id property and let's see now you can see that i got a small program here and i can see that okay so now let's make it some nicer so let's make the width is six five hundred or it's two hundred all right and now let's check okay the first program is here this is looking nice i think this is the first panel we can see that okay so yeah actually i think i missed something okay the spelling of a height is wrong actually so just make it correct now you can see that it's look like a panel with the and let's say you want to write some html here also this is also possible so i'm just going to write here h1 big h1 text okay so you can see that the big h1 text so this is the start with the ext and the next videos we will learn how we can install with the command line and sdk and uh, learn some grid login and how we can call the apis and how we can make the first page header footer and all this so don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this video